Kenya Kwanza's government. Musalemu Davade is really defending the government heavily. And this is what he said, that we have achieved and we will continue to achieve majority of those promises that we made to Kenyans. For the moment, when Kenyans, 65% of Kenyans are telling, that's more than the vote that you got. They're telling you that the cost of living is still not solved in this country. And then you, as Musalia Mudabadi, stand and tell Kenyans that we have achieved and will continue achieving. And this rating that Kenyans have given root of, 55%, how do you make sense of it? Um, first and foremost, yes. I do not know what to say about these ratings because InfoTrack promised us very interesting things before the elections. <laughs> they told Kenyans that uh, at some point that Raila Amolo Odinga would win with a margin of about 68%. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> and then we saw what happened. Now they are telling us that Kenyans have rated the president at 55%. Yeah. But then you try and go to the streets and talk about Kenya Kwanzaa administration. At some point, people even want to beat you up because of talking of about this administration in a good way. You talk of Hustler Fund, and someone asks you, I want to start a business. <clears throat> but at a business, they are smoky. An egg is 35 shillings today if they cut it for you. So how many eggs will you start? It's not even a tray. It doesn't even fit the money to start to buy the jiko itself and have eggs and sell. If you are lucky because uh, Sakaja's county government will come and whisk you away with your jiko, and the next thing you know you're in court and the fine is 10,000, and you had borrowed 800 from for this hustler fund to go and start selling smokies, and before you could even put the jiko on, <laughs> the county government has swept you in their car and you're in cells at central poly police and then they have another interesting court at their place there who is that court <laughs> meets justice within seconds and there's a fine <laughs> and uh, you don't have representation of a lawyer yeah. before you know uh, so basically yes we have a fund that gives people money that would not start any logical business yeah. And they, some of them like saying that some of us are elitist and we are try, trying to think of starting big businesses. I mean, I need an explanation like a two-year-old on what exactly one would be able to do if they were given 500 shillings and what business they would start and how effectively it would run. Yes. Because even fair, I could talk up a Kwenda Marikiti or Gikomba to buy the stuff you need right now with this fuel is 100 shillings from yes. Kawangore to Marikiti. And then what do you buy? Things for 100? then come back with another 100, then you're left with 100, at least to buy airtime. So how many tops did you buy at 100 shillings? So I've tried thinking deeply and consciously and very meaningfully as a person on what someone who is given 500 shillings would do with it to start a business. I thought the easiest was Mamamboga, Uzini Kali and Mamamboga. But give that person, be fair enough, give them a thousand bob. They will spend a hundred shillings to town on a bus at a Uber. Then another hundred, they are left with eight hundred shillings. Now you're imagining he's been able to build a kibanda. Now kitungu, a kilo of kitungu right now is about two hundred shillings. Things are very expensive. So that person will buy what? Two kilos of kitungu and two kilos of nyanya. And so if you buy things for two hundred, the most you can make from them is fifty. And the other one for 100, the most you can make them is 50. So this person has made 100 shillings in a day. But how much do they need to live for that day? Hata hakuna unga ya mia, hakuna sukari ya mia, hakuna... Sasa hata chumfi saindu inaelekea huko. So what will this person do with 1,000 shillings in the hustler fund? Let us be realistic. Let's not keep saying it as idea mama mboga ama it as idea mutu wa mutura. Mutu wa mutura, how much is a kilo of meat? Because mutura ni nyama. And they have to stuff it. So when you try thinking of what you would do with the money you get from Hustler Fund and sit and have a conscious dis debate about it, it is not possible to start any meaningful business <clears throat> that would take you out of poverty. If anything, it puts you in more jeopardy because now you keep getting messages being told, if we don't pay Hustler Fund. So this person has actually been put in even more problems and even in higher impoverishment 
than they ever were before and then their limit is not growing na bado wanadaiwa na ile pesa alijaribu sana by the hata hakukula lunch hiyo siku tumehesabu tu kwenda gikomba kununua vitu kurudi vitu ambazo akiuza hata yeye zirudisha ile 500 because if you already 200 has gone to fair so you've bought things for 100 so that you are left with 100 to at least buy milk when you get home if it can buy milk so it's not working the, the reality of the matter is that hustler fund is not working and somebody has to sit them down and tell them teach us how it will work go and sit with those people and tell them how will how is this thing working teach us how to run a business with a thousand shillings and kenyans will <clears throat> i think that's it yeah. pretty much want us to shift gears a little bit from the